Right, so before I start guys, I am going to use the um, sugar, um, sugar soap water um, with a sponge basically. I've got my sponge here and I'm just going to obviously clean the mirror because I'm going to start with the mirror. At the moment obviously the mirror is um, grey and I'm using the blackjack uh, frantic um, paint on the sides and then I've got my two brushes here which I'm going to use. Um, I'm probably going to end up using this one because it's, it's quite like a thin sort of like mirror. This I might leave for later for the floor. Um, and then I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to tape it around and then I am going to paint, start painting. to shape up and while waiting for that to dry and then I've just done one coat on the floor so this is the first coat that's done dazzle me in white so I'll probably do maybe two more but we'll see how it shape up so I'm gonna let this dry now and then do the second coat <music> to scrap the idea of doing the patterns on the floor <clears throat> um, firstly because I think I didn't leave enough time for the paint to dry that's my fault but at the same time once the paint had dried I was like mm, I don't like this so I, I guess some people obviously you know it, it's easier and they make it look beautiful beautiful but for me it was just like hell to the no so I went with a different option, which I'm going to quickly show you guys. Um, the boys came um, a few weeks ago um, because obviously I'm just picking up the camera as I go along with this. It's taken me longer, obviously, to finish this bathroom because we had to try and find the flooring. There wasn't anything that I like. And then eventually he sent me something. I was like, oh maybe that could work it's, it's still not something that i'm like 100 percent, but it's better than the rest of the stuff he was showing me so i'm going to quickly show you guys what i went with on the floor eventually it's like um it's not the tiles it looks like it's tiles but it's like a, a laminate it's a really good sort of like laminate which is easy to clean it's a kid's bathroom if the water spills that was another thing that i was worried about with the um patting which is done on paint because sometimes when the kids play with water i was like mm, is it gonna last that was my problem so i kind of like it went wrong yes but also i had to be like realistic about it because this is a bathroom that is used daily by young children so let me quickly show you guys the the floor that then i i sort of like chose after right so this is the floor um i forgot what he said it's called but it is so beautiful it's got like a, a marble kind of feel and we've had it for a few weeks as i've said now and so far no problems um quite a small space yeah so they had to also um level up the floor because obviously i thought it was a laminate that was underneath but it was actually tiles and they were so dirty as you've seen 
um, before I painted them. So they had to use like a floor leveler, I forgot what it's called, it's like a mixture that you buy. Screech, I think, I think so, I'm not sure. Um, so they had to use that to level the floor um, and then obviously put the floor. So I'm happy with that. So today I've decided then I am going to obviously paint the tiles because this pattern here, which is very sort of like um, random, you know, it's, it's all in random places. I feel like it's very dated. Um, as you can see, um, very, very, I, I'm just not happy with that. I just feel like it's just not going to do the space justice. So I'm going to paint it all white. Um, and I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I was obviously coated about £3,000 to redo this bathroom. I said hell to the no. So basically we put a new electric shower and the taps for the bath and the sink and the new bath and the um screen for the bath i just thought the rest i'm just gonna try and do it myself and update it so basically what i'm going for in this bathroom it's gonna be a white canvas and um with the black accessories and lots of plants um hanging plants and and stuff just keep it simple and clean and easy to maintain for the kids so today i am painting i'm using this tile paint v33 in a white satin and this one actually it had a lot of reviews when i was looking at the tile paint as you can see it says no undercoat and i've seen people that had like red tiles you know uh, pink tiles and all that using this um sort of like paint and i thought you know what i'm actually going to try it as you can see from their picture there but you know you never know so we'll see how it come it comes out as like i also got the their um, um grout pen i don't know if i'm gonna use this because looking at the grout it doesn't look too bad so um obviously it's here if i need it after so right now i'm just gonna clean the tiles i'm cleaning the tiles using this pink stuff um obviously multi-purpose cleaner and then i am going to slightly sand them after before i start painting so it's raining today and i think this is the best day to do this it's gonna take me all day because the time scale of the tile of the paint um coats it's like six hours so i might do the first coat and second coat today and then obviously if i need a third then i'll do it tomorrow but because the tiles are more like to the cream side they're not like color tiles i might not need a third coat but we'll see so let me crack on um and then i'll show you guys the final obviously um results once i've done the um i've finished painting <laughs> a small brush the reason i know it's going to take forever but the reason i'm using a small bright is so i can get onto the grout easily because i did buy the grout pen but once i've cleaned the tiles i realized that actually i don't need a grout pen if i'm gonna paint this let me show you why you see i thought this was dead but it's actually the tile underneath is like a terracotta color. I don't know if you can see properly. It's like a terracotta color. So when they filled in the grouts, I think they didn't do a good job. So what I'm going to do, I thought if I fill it in, it's going to do the double job. But if I paint it, let me show you. The paint is just doing the job. See? so that's why i'm using a small brush so i can get to all the the grout lines and then when i do the second coat then i'm gonna use the roller you see the difference look at that so really i don't need the grout pen 
which is a pity because I've lost the receipt but I guess I can keep it for the future if need be yeah so I'm working with a really small brush just going through the grout and really just it's gonna take me a while but you know what I'm seeing the difference on the grout with the small brush and then what I'm going to do after is use a roller yeah so I'm gonna quickly finish this I'm almost done the first coat as you can see at the back I've applied a bit um, so second coat I'm gonna put a little bit more amount because I'm gonna be using a roller hopefully cover more areas for now as I've said the focus is just on the grout making sure that it's all done before we do the second coat so I'll update you guys once we've done the second coat mm -hmm. 